With the rapid evolution of projector technology over the past few years, it's now possible to get movie theater level experiences at home. The Epson Home Cinema 4010 is a home theater system that uses an advanced method of creating 4K enhancement, and it's made for at home application. Considering the quality and some of its features, there's a lot to like about this product, but can it really deliver? And after you get it, what can you expect? Now let's start by saying the Epson Home Cinema 4010 doesn't actually have native 4K resolution but instead it utilizes new pixel shifting technology with native 1080p LCD images to deliver enhanced 4K resolution. It also introduces 4K Pro UHD with 12-bit processing. I found that with this upgraded processing, the image gradations were smooth. With pixel shifting turned on, there are five graduated image enhancement settings. I thought presets four and five noticeably enhanced images contrast and the three-dimensionality of objects without causing any artifacts. This is one enhancement that Epson claims delivers comparable or better than other pixel shifting technologies. Unlike DLP projectors, with Epson's three chip LCD technology, I saw no rainbow artifacts, so this is a good bet if you're sensitive to them. It also features an upgraded tone mapping algorithm to further enhance HDR content rendering, and it can process up to a 10 bit color depth for better color replication and more accurate light reproduction. It only recognizes HDR10 content, which is the standard, but it does lack HLG support. With its innovative 15 element glass lens, the picture quality is detailed and crisp, and I didn't see any noticeable lens flares or hotspots like I did on some of the lower price models. I also failed to notice any light leakage. The 2400 lumens are an upgrade over the 4000 model, which only had 2200, and this improves overall white and color brightness. The dynamic contrast ratio is also upgraded at 200,000 to one compared to the 4000's 140,000 to one. Although these are both less than the more expensive Epson 5040 UB's claimed one million to one ratio. It also comes with three settings for the auto iris, off, normal, and fast. When using the fast setting, I did sometimes notice that light pumping, but that problem stopped when I switched back to the normal setting. I was impressed with how well it works, and there is a distinct enhancement in the deep blacks and shadow detailing. Epson offers you six selectable color modes. I found the dynamic mode to have a noticeable green bias, but this is to be expected with high brightness settings. Bright cinema should work well in environments with some ambient light. I liked the natural mode's color accuracy and gray tones, but I felt that it was too bright for most low light rooms. Black and white cinema gives you a great old timey look, which I thought was appropriate for classic films. The digital cinema mode was the most impressive to me as it's the only setting that has 100% DCI P3 coverage. So this gives you gorgeous and clear images, although there's a tiny red bias. Cinema mode also has this red bias, but it can be fixed by adjusting the color temperature setting. And that's best when used in darker rooms. It also has two additional modes that support 3D images. Another feature I think you'll like is the excellent vertical and horizontal lens shift adjustments. They gave me plenty of room and flexibility for projector placement. With 96% vertical and 47% horizontal adjustments, I was easily able to correct the picture when off-centered. The motorized zoom at 2.1x is also impressive and it made setting it up a breeze. It has 10 different lens position memories to store aspect ratio presets so I could customize my settings. These positions are suitable for maintaining constant image height on a 2.4 to 1 cinemascope screens without needing any additional lenses, which are rare features in a projector at this price point. It comes with a 250 watt UHG lamp, which has a lifespan of up to 3500 hours on high power mode, 4000 in mid, and 5000 in eco which is a shorter lifespan than the lower priced BenQ HT 3550. This projector is also pretty big and I found it a little bit heavy, so I would not recommend moving it around a lot and I would probably just recommend ceiling mounting it and forgetting about it. The Home Cinema 4010 unfortunately does not support 4K 60Hz HDR and it lacks an 18 gigabyte chipset, which I noticed can limit the fluidity in some of the ATSC 3 sports broadcasts and video games. I found that the lag time was around 28 milliseconds, which is more than the Optima UHD 50X, so it might not be suitable for gamers. The fan is very quiet and I was barely able to hear it in the eco mode. So is it worth buying? Well, the price is on the higher end compared to some competitors, but it provides solid bang for your buck. If you're looking for something with more portability, I would recommend the BenQ HT 3550. If you're looking for a bright projector with long lamp life, then I would go with the Optoma UHD 60. If you're an avid home theater enthusiast who's looking for high quality UHD and HDR movie content with good sharpness, enhanced color contrast, and more traditional high-end projector perks, 
Well, the Epson Home Cinema 4010 offers really good value and it's a solid choice in the sub $2,000 range that should leave you satisfied. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. For links to updated pricing on all of the items mentioned, check out the description. And if you guys learned something or found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you like short, informative tech videos. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.